Hello everyone, Helder here. Today I wanted to review this uh, Monadnock Auto Lock expandable baton. Uh, first of all, Monadnock, a USA company. This is made in the USA. Um, they are a uh, top supplier to law enforcement all over the world. Um, it just seems like whenever I go somewhere in the stranger to place, I always end up seeing uh, Monadnock there in one uh, one form or another. All right, so that's, that's got to say something. Uh, besides their uh, marketing, I guess, they uh, they definitely have some quality products. And I could definitely uh, assure you that this is one of them. All right, so some of the cool things, all right, has this great, great uh, super grip, super comfortable, whether you're wearing gloves, whether your hands are wet, uh, bloody, full of mud, uh, you name it, you're going to be able to, it just feels good, right? It just feels like something that, uh, that you could really take a, a grasp of and becomes an extension, let's say, uh, of your body. All right, the other great thing about this is that it has this uh, auto lock feature. So once it is expanded the way it is now, it's gonna stay locked out, okay, which is nice. Until, of course, we reach back here, press our little button, and then from there we're able to actually close it. And uh, it stops us from damaging the mechanism by constantly banging it on concrete or the pavement or asphalt or rocks or, you know, whatever you're using uh, to close it. All right, I know I've uh, experimented with all of that on my uh, older uh, batons, and uh, once again, it didn't bode very well from them, and uh, they became damaged uh, over time and uh, unserviceable. All right, so keeping that in mind. Uh, another cool thing is the uh, the actual tip. So you have somewhat of a, uh, a safety tip here. All right, so causing uh, less than lethal damage. Once again, we're talking about law enforcement, security work. As you can tell by the media these days, um, there's a lot of liability uh, that's being inflicted on our law enforcement. It's uh, very unfair. You know unjustified but it is what it is so we have to make sure that uh that when we're training uh law enforcement military people with this type of liability that we ensure um that you know we think about these little extra things i mean think about this tip all right that's still going to cause all sorts of damage but might not sit there and tear apart a, a skull or a limb or a bone right where when we have the other ones with these metal type tips right you could just imagine that's going to cause a lot more blunt force uh, and when it comes to, it might sound cool if uh, you're thinking about battling an intruder and saving your family and your dog and all sorts of stuff. But when it comes to practical application uh, for law enforcement uh, that face this type of liability and of course security work, uh, which a lot of the, uh, the, uh, the security companies tend to uh, throw their security officers under the bus whenever there's some kind of a liability attack. So keep that in mind. And uh, as uh, trainers and teachers, that's something that we definitely take into account. Now, this one happens to be uh, the 21 inch as far as in length. Uh, for me, that's uh, the needs that suit me. Uh, they come in all different sizes uh, from smaller uh, uh, personal ones that are super small to uh, up to like 26 inches, I think I've seen. Uh, once again, depending on your personal preference and the way that you train. All right, so make sure you get a little bit of experience. Uh, play with the, uh, play around with them. These are not cheap. Uh, these are not toys. All right, so there is a big difference between these and what you're going to find. But you're also going to see the uh, quality difference. And hopefully I could convey a lot of that um, in, this, uh, in this video. Once again, I'll put all the specs in the blog. Uh, so all the details for all the, uh, the tech gurus out there that uh, want to know every uh, nook and cranny. All right, I'll make sure that that's available. And uh, once again, it has a nice chrome finish. And uh, these tips are also uh, interchangeable. All right, so there's all sorts of stuff that if you want to go more lethal or you want to go more gentle and everything else in between. All right, so what I set up here is basically a two inch thick rope with a timber hitch knot on it so that it hangs down, hangs uh, vertical for what we need it for here and just tied off with a hitch. All right, something that I like to, uh, to work with, uh, whether we're using uh, training batons, sticks, or uh, the real thing, because uh, A, I'm not gonna mess up Bob, all right, our little uh, dummy guy, not gonna mess up or uh, tear up any of our uh, leather heavy bags, all right, and at the same time, I like the feedback uh, that this setup gives me. So going ahead, giving you a bit of a demonstration uh, with the inexpensive baton, and uh, just to show you, or to emphasize uh, the issues that I was having with this, um, and uh, hopefully you can avoid. So when it comes to opening, right, pretty good seems like it's sturdy basic movements right seems to stay in there but now look what happens once we start to strike all right so that alone is already loosening it up 
right? It's not really what you want to happen to you, all right? When you're out in, uh, you might need this to, uh, to save your life. So if we switch it out, go with the Monod knock, all right? So once again, opening it up, nice and steady, nice and sturdy, right? Feels good, nice and comfortable. Now we can go ahead. It works sturdy and I even added special effects for you what more do you want so as far as this uh, being a survival tool something that you would keep uh, in your uh, go bag or a survival kit once again it all depends on your training all right you want to be able to if you're gonna get especially expensive gear like this all right and it has uh, one specific purpose all right so keep that in mind uh, train with it be comfortable with it if you do decide to add this to your gear if it's something that you uh, deem necessary all right, so uh, training, training, training. I know I always harp on that, but uh, you don't want this to be a li liability, all right? You want this to be something that's going to enhance the situation in uh, any type of emergency, all right? And more so for a uh, self-defense application. So uh, as usual, I hope that you enjoyed this review. Make sure that you uh, stay prepared. If this is something that you uh, choose to add to your gear, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Once again, this is Helder. I hope you enjoyed this review.